So when we first show up at the job, um, we want to get all the big mulch chunks and everything out of the way so that um, when we till this, and till in our compost, uh, we don't we don't end up having those chunks in there that are gonna look ugly and suck up nitrogen um, away from the plants. Before you start the tiller. <laughs> yeah, before I start the tiller, make sure it has gas, mixed gas, all right? And turn the switch on. It has like a safety lock, so make sure it's unlocked before you turn it on. <laughs> So the reason we till the bed is to loosen up the soil and incorporate all the stuff that we're mixing in and make it easier for the, the new roots of the little annuals to penetrate and become established. Yeah, I'd say put all the rest all up there, right? The bed's being prepared already. We're just setting up our pattern so that uh, everything is spaced equally so we get good coverage with all of our angles. One thing you can do to save time is to pull all the tags before you start putting the plants out. We want to stagger our rows so we get better coverage, otherwise it's going to look like a checkerboard. So we'll get a lot better coverage if we stagger the rows so that the plants end up on triangles. Yeah, I'm going to spread these away from the curb. When we're putting the annuals in the ground, um, you want to put them at about the same, the same depth as what they were in a pot. Uh, depending on the depth of your tilling, sometimes you can just plant them with your hand. Um, other times, the, the trowel makes it easier. Makes it easier scoop to move the dirt out of the way. And then you just want to, you just want to lightly, lightly firm the soil around the of the plant after it's in the ground. I will just squeeze the bottle. I mean the can a little bit, so the soil gets loose, and you don't um, leave some dirt on the pot. If you have a crib too, you can have one guy laying down the plants and the other one behind you kind of um, putting them on the ground. Just drill to uh, drill holes on the bed to put um, plants on the ground. It's going to make the job easier because you don't have to be getting your shovel and doing those by hand. You'll always want to put your fertilizer in a smaller container than a big heavy bag. It makes it a lot easier to move it around. This is um, malorganite, which is composted sewage from uh, 
city of Milwaukee, hence the name Milorganite. We'll want to uh, put the fertilizer directly around each plant. You can incorporate it in the whole bed, but um, it gets more directly to each plant if we do it this way. Just take a small handful, put about half around each plant. It's an organic fertilizer, so it's not apt to uh, burn the foliage or burn the plants from, from applying a little too heavily if, if that happens. Once you've got part of the, part of the uh, installation finished, um, let's say it's half of the installation, um, kind of look at your time and see how you're doing. Um, there's ways you can cut some corners and do it a little faster if you're a little behind. or um, And then just check the job. Um, check your spacing, make sure there's no holes. Um, and then we still got to clean up and all that stuff. But uh, I think we're ready to, ready to go on this side. Everything's been fertilized and looks pretty good.